Welcome back to War Eternal. In this video, I will speak about flow of the game. So, the game consists of the turns. Every turn except uh, the first one starts with economy phase. First is just moving, first is introduction. So, we skip it here. We have at the beginning of turn this uh, screen showing us necessary info. What is active element, if there is any extra effect, if we got any extra magic, and uh, what are our quests. So let's press done. And we are dwarfs here. So we are in economy phase and we can we can switch to economy view if we want to focus more on resources. Here in our hometown we have really high value of the gold. So it's a good idea in beginning with them to take a bit of gold. So we took something and got five. We can also build units or we can uh, collect gold also from these ones. I'll collect gold here. And when we have enough gold uh, we also get option to improve tile. Accidentally I pressed farm. This uh, gave us increased supply and also gave us a bit more bit more food than we had. We still can build the troops here. So I built I don't have I don't have uh, more more resources enough resources to build this one. So that's for it that's it for it and I will also raise troop one troop here. In Hometown we can build more advanced units. So if we build another improvement which is fort then it's military improvement then we will also be able to build it here. But let's press ready and then we will move to the another phase. Next phase is first tactical phase. Here we can move our armies. We move our armies by giving them orders. We choose a tile with our army and uh, with the left click and with the right click we click on this uh, tile where we want to go and we can we can move army. Every order costs uh, one logistic but we can move any number of units with this order so I will move two units here. If we want to move this one with the same in the, with the same group we can edit it's no problem but if we want to split our army and move it in another direction we need another logistic so now we have only one and we need to choose will we will we expand with this army or will we expand with these two guys i will go closer to the central tile and that's it. That's what, what we can do. We are moving arms uh, here. If we get in the same tile as, uh, as enemy army, we get to the combat, which I will explain in the separate video. For now, let's proceed. And now we are in the second tactical phase. This second tactical phase is uh, similar to the first, but has uh, more restrictions. No infantry can move there and no ranged units. Only fast units can move in second tactical phase. So cavalry, some flying units. Uh, Dwarf actually has no access to any of the units throughout the game. There, He has all slow units. But uh, if we want to move, we also share the same logistics so we need to uh, to save actually some logistics to move this is what is human good for they have uh, they have better logistics they have uh, later they have uh, two cavalry units so they are most one of the most mobile factions in the game only one more restriction here is also that in the second phase only we know only uh, fast units can move but uh, also they cannot move through the mountains so any fast unit that is uh, in inside mountain mountain tile cannot move, and they cannot enter uh, mountain tiles. So we can now press ready, and when all other players press ready, uh, turn is over, and uh, we are coming to the end of turn. Our prestige is counted, and if we made any quests, but that's it for the 
that's it for the turn. When we finish this, uh, we get to the next one until we finish the game.